Despite a change of scenery, not a lot changed on the court for the Phoenix Suns in another disastrous third quarter against the Minnesota Timberwolves here in Game 3. I'm Gerald Bourget and this is Solar Flares. Not a lot of answers from anyone after Game 3's loss to the Timberwolves that put the Suns in an 0-3 hole. We did talk to Frank Vogel, Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal, and Devin Booker after the game and they seem to be on the same page about the fact that they didn't feel like they came apart at the seams when they were hit with adversity. Book had said after game two, he feels like the guys go their own separate ways when adversity hits. They said they made it a point of emphasis to stick together, but it sure didn't feel like it watching that third quarter and fourth quarter unravel with the Suns going down by 20 plus yet again in the second half. Uh, there were a lot of boo birds out here in Phoenix and to be honest, they felt warranted. Here's what Devin Booker and Frank Vogel had to say about being booed at home. Uh, no, rightfully so. That's sports. When you're getting your butt kicked at home, the fans are going to boo. I don't blame them. Kevin Durant also added that he felt it was deserved. He said that the fans pay their hard-earned money to come here and watch these guys, and they're entitled to react however they want to react. Um, and it's something that they're just going to have to do better at in Game 4 in terms of getting the crowd on their side if they want to fight and keep their season alive. Here is what Frank Vogel and Devin Booker had to say about wanting to give themselves a chance, as well as Bradley Beal. Uh, I mean, just, you know, play free. You know, take it possession by possession. Um, and that's what it is. I mean, I remember going down to the bubble and it was the same thing. We had to win eight to even have a chance. And, you know, you just break them down. They all have their own personality and you can only focus on one at a time. It's an opportunity for us to do something that's never been done before. And we're going to embrace that. There's no quit in our group. Um, you know, we do have to take it one at a time. You know, that's our, our whole focus is going to be, uh, you know, to evaluate again, you know, huddle up tomorrow and see what kind of adjustments we can make to win, win game four. I mean, you're, you're playing for pride and you're playing for uh, an opportunity, you know, to keep fighting. You know, and, and that's what this group wants. This, this group does not want the season come to an end. We know that the competition in the Western Conference is fierce. This is a hell of a team that we're playing. So, you know, we're playing for pride and we're playing for an opportunity to keep fighting. Uh, just one game at a time. You know, obviously it's tough to beat a team that many times. Hell, they just did it. We did it during the regular season. So, you know, you, you, you just take it a game at a time. You know, you, obviously we won just the first of four. Our, hell, backs against the wall, but can't give in, you can't give up. You gotta continue to compete. We got a good one on Sunday. Uh, and all I gotta do is just give yourself a chance. You know, give yourself a chance to go back to Minnesota. And just compete, man. Compete, keep, compete your ass off. That's all we can ask for. The troubling stat, if you are a Suns fan, aside from the fact that all three games have been pretty much blowouts in the second half, is that 151 times in NBA history, a team has trailed three to zero in a playoff series and all 151 times they've lost that series. Only four of those teams have ever forced a game seven in that situation. But at this point, the Suns just wanna send it back to Minnesota by cleaning up and taking care of business at home in game four. Whether they'll be able to do so, I'm skeptical, but we'll have to find out on Sunday. For more, keep it here on PHNX Sports.